when twin flames suck energy from each other. I'll try to make this video very balanced, well understood and to the point. This will be about how this happens and how can we deal with it because it happens. There's no doubt. It's constantly happening, not just between twin flames, but within couples and so on. But with it, within twin flames, it's very powerful and it can be damaging. Welcome back once more to our channel Andre and Petia from Andre and Petia one It's very cool to see you here once again. Today we have an amazing topic. When twin flames suck energy from each other. Now, this happens all the time in this world. We are all susceptible to this effect. However, within Twin Flames, it is particularly worse. <laughs> because Twin Flames have a ton of power, a lot of energy. And uh, it's very important to keep it steady, to keep it down when we are not being our true selves. When we are being our true selves, by all means, go ahead and expand your energy. But it is important to know how to deal with our own energy and how to fix everything we go through. By the way, we have a big announcement. It's about the video. Don't skip. <laughs> we have a big announcement. From now on, I mean, it will probably take effect next week. In one week or two weeks, it will have uh, a possibility for you to have a checklist. So we will give you a checklist for you to be able to see what we are reading because we put our thoughts first written down the majority of the time and then you can use this uh, almost like a, a, as a reminder, homework, um, not to get lost, guidance, you, you understand? And it will be nice for us to give you uh, this illustration because once we had a session with someone and um, she was imagining what we were talking uh, uh, to this person, a personal consultation, and I felt that it was very important to show what we are talking about. And when we did that, this person started laughing with us, started enjoying much more and understood um, things that were said much easier. So I think this will be very good for you. Now back to the video. I cannot just tell you a straight answer quickly uh, how exactly uh, to stop or how this happens. So I'm just going to say one by one what I have written here and hopefully you will understand. If not, you have to watch the video again. So twin flames must balance themselves out constantly. It's a constant balance, a constant game of balancing ourselves. One thing that helps a lot in this respect is the Taoism, because Taoism, what they follow is basically balance. They constantly are following balance. Balance is their motto. So when you follow balance, you achieve so much high potential. That is because one twin flame is only half of the other twin flame potential. So you have half of the twin flame couple potential and your other half twin flame has the other half, if that makes sense. So you guys together are absolutely brilliant. You can kick ass if you want, <laughs> but unfortunately, if you're alone, you are um, considered a normal human being because your power is diminished not only by half, but by tens of thousands. You guys, when you're together, you make miracles. You move people's hearts. It's amazing how powerful the connection is. But when you're alone, it's like you're just the one part and that's it well in a way yes but you're not just half of the power of the twin flame couple you are tens of thousands of times uh, smaller you're very small you're tiny now when you are together with your twin flame and you are uh, just seeing yourself well yourself you by yourself you are half of the power of the twin flames because you are with your twin flame. But as soon as you separate, you are a tiny creature. So tiny, anyone can control you. Have you ever watched the movie? I mean, it, it is a movie for kids, but it has, a it has a subconscious message for adults. And it is ants 
and Grasshoppers. But I don't know the proper movie title. I just know that it is about ants versus grasshoppers. The grasshoppers are the elite and the ants are the, the sheep. So you, if you are not with your twin flame, if you're not with your highest potential half, you will be a tiny little beast. I mean, <laughs> a beast. Yeah, right. You're going to be a tiny ant. That's what I mean. So what does this have to do with um, when twin flames suck energy from each other? Well, glad you asked. One twin flame cannot be its highest potential by itself. So energy must always remain neutral or both high or both low. Let me repeat this. The energy between you and your twin flame when you're together must be both neutral or both high or both low. You cannot be high and low and, or, uh, or the other way around. What is this going to do is that when you are slightly lower and your twin flame slightly slightly higher you need to balance it, each other you need to remain balanced you guys are like water okay like me and petia we are like water if i am too low level and my twin flame is too high level water balances itself levels itself uh, water always seeks to be leveled okay if you uh, throw water in, uh, in like on the ground and your ground has slopes, it will balance itself, it will level itself, okay? So the same with the two of you. If you are slightly lower, meaning you're depressed, slightly depressed, your twin flame is slightly excited, guess what? You're going to be neutral, neutralized, because you, uh, one of you is going to pull the other. Pulling because of, uh, it doesn't matter the reason, the reason could be like, uh, ah, you're happy and I am not, you know, let's meet in the middle or come to see where I am from, like I'm full of depression. Um, it doesn't matter the reason. What matters is that this can be obvious in just a regular uh, couple in a relationship. Whoever you are with in the same house, you will balance itself out with the your partner or whoever you are living with but with twin flames this is very powerful and happens immediately okay that's why i'm saying that um, when you guys have a big difference between the two of you because it is normal you guys are twin flames so you're opposites one of you is going to be more depressed naturally and the other more excited the one jumps more the other jumps less the one likes to sleep more the other doesn't like to sleep so much it doesn't matter you guys have a lot of variations and differences what matters is that if you have a big gap between the two of you, you will be pulling each other out uh, in a gentle way. But if the, the needs are not met, meaning if you guys don't balance each other by naturally pulling each other, you're going to be sucking in energy straight out of the neck <laughs> because that's just how it, uh, it happens. Uh, we start to become vampires temporarily but it, we are and when you guys are finally back to the same spot leveled and balanced then you stop being a vampire and things work out better and then you start to finally find your place again and the gap starts to happen between the two of you and then you politely ask subconsciously shall we meet in the middle but if you don't meet in the middle by any means then you suck energy again so the title of the video is not to say how to stop this process. It is just to say when to inflame suck energy from each other and what to do about it, right? Well, what to do, you will figure out by what I told you right now. There's no quick answer. You just observe what I said and take action. And that's it. <sighs> Guys, I really wanted to uh, also tell you that uh, to announce that our website is um, perfect there's no problem you can visit everything's okay we're gonna start blogging there every single video will have its own blog and will also have a unique blog that will not be available in our uh, videos and like i said earlier we will start to put um, a checklist or a, like a cheat sheet in our uh, videos that will be available to our uh, subscribers only and this will happen maybe within two weeks at best and it will be amazing. Like this you will know and you will have in your hands what exactly are you supposed to do 
each time you watch one of our videos because otherwise it becomes just theoretical and it's difficult to understand. Thank you very much for everything. Ciao, ciao.